Hello peeps, I'm just walking down the back road to my local town to go and get my truck from, from the test. And I just struck by, look by me, this is down my back road. Look at all the nature here. Listen to it. People are telling you lies. Wales has been managed by farmers and generations and it's the most beautiful place in the world I think. I've been to a lot of places around the UK and I still think Wales is the most beautiful. It's got a varied of everything. Listen behind me. So uh, I don't think enough people show you how beautiful Wales is. A lot of people just stay in their cars, they don't walk about. They just look up, listen to what they're told uh, on TV instead of getting out there and actually getting amongst it. Now, um, of course, some areas are different to others, but you know, look around here now. You know, you, you have got to make a living on a farm as well as keeping it uh, looking reasonably nice, haven't you, you know? So uh, lots of people in the cities don't really understand that. They just look at their, all the negativity against us all and the people in the country and uh, dismiss it out of hand, really. Uh, forget that, you know, people live in the countryside all over the UK, really, are the indigenous people you know, like the Maoris and uh, uh, people in Australia and very much like it. I know we're a different colour, but our generations have been uh, indigenous generations for hundreds and thousands of years. And to dispute it is uh, quite bad, you know, I reckon. Of course, you go to London and other popular places in the world, in the uh, UK, it's all different, it's, immigration has changed it all, but what is wrong with having people who've lived here for hundreds and thousands of years still being here? I don't understand it really. And what's wrong with them making the decisions in their own areas? Instead of it being forced on them by academics with a chip on their shoulder. But uh, I don't know. Hope you don't mind, this was just a short video really. Uh, got me thinking, you know. I put a video up yesterday about uh, National Trust and things like that, trying to force farming at the, with that 109 agreement. Once that's signed, nobody can do anything really, the tenant. And I don't think people realise how bad it is really. They're afraid for the normal folk in the country, they call it bumpkins. That's why I call myself Hillbilly Halfwit, to have a, an opinion or even argue back. Because we're not qualified, even though I've been on farming for 50 years. All types of farming. It's a, it's a mad world we're living in. It's a mad world. Now look, I'm walking on a back road now. Look. How can somebody say that is sheep wrecked? I do not understand it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it like this for now because it's starting to rain and I get my phone wet. So, ta-da.